What up, you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Lauri Koskinen. I'm a professional chuckler and a chuckling teacher. And yeah, so that's what you're gonna get in this channel. So there's basically chuckling tutorials and some trick videos. So if you like that, stick around. Um, this is a question that I get a lot. I've been teaching this in my online chuckling course. I made like, if you wanna see super detailed videos and how to exercise, how to train for this, check out my online chuckling course, Chuckling Mastery. But I'm just gonna show you quickly how to hold four clubs in one hand, how I do it, how I start four, how I collect four. So I use what is called an undergrip, okay? Which means I have a club in my hand, the next club goes under, okay? You have over and under. And a lot of people have different variations. I'm just gonna show you how I do it, okay? <laughs> so, ah, come on. The third club, one here, next goes under, that goes under as well. So how I get it there, if I would catch it, it's a little bit different grip when I catch and when I throw. When I catch, I have my hand like this. When I throw, I have my hand like that. So let's talk first about catching, all right? So when you catch the first one, that's normal, okay? You have your palm up, just catch it there. The second, I grab the club with my thumb and I turn a little bit to the side. So I turn my hand up, my palm up, and I hold it with my thumb. That releases a lot of space for my fingers to get the club under there, okay? And it's not like I'm holding this for a long time. I'm just doing this, and when the club comes, I just grab it, under there. So it goes, it comes like this, it goes there, all right? Now, number three, that comes like this, okay? And the way that I do it, I hold this with my thumb and my index finger. That gives me three fingers space to catch it. So I turn this palm up. Again, if they have it like this, they will collapse and I'm gonna get it here. So when I turn, my palm up like this, that puts the clubs in the direction of my arm, and I can catch it there. So it comes here, okay, not on top like that, because for me, that bounces away. I have it here. So it goes like, in, you get one, you get two, and this goes here. The handle is under here, okay? So again, that's the under grip, with three fingers, it goes there. Now, when I throw this, I do, um, I don't hold the palm up like this, the way I catch it and I throw it from here. I turn my thumb a little bit up, like that kind of position, so I can have now better control of that, okay? So I can do like a flat, a triple, I can do a high single, I can go flat if I want. Flat is a little bit hard from this, but air grip, flat is a little bit hard. <laughs> but yeah, you can do it still. So this is what I use. Now, ooh, when it comes with the fourth, that, uh, that changes a little bit because if I throw it, again, I would do the same. I would open this up a bit, hold that with, uh, with my index, sorry, with my middle finger, and that gives me pinky and the ring finger free for this. But also the middle finger is touching it and my thumb is touching it from here, right? So I would throw it I got these three here, close together. I got that. And again, I'm turning it here. So my thumb is pointing up. If it was straight like this, I turn my palm like that. I would throw from there and then take the next in the position and the next and the next. But when it comes to catching the four, um, that goes a little bit differently. I don't catch it here in this position because I find it it can bounce. I have, I have really small hands, okay? I'm not like Emil Dahl or one of those guys whose hand is like this size, you know? <laughs> they can hold like 25 clubs all together. Those big 95 mil renegade clubs. No. So I have a very small hand, so I have to do it a little bit differently. This, I can do like that, but it's not completely secure. It's more secure if I do it like this. So I squeezed all of these three together and that 
gives me, I hold here with my index finger and my thumb holds the third club. So it's only when my thumb is touching it while I catch this one. And that goes, I turn everything palm up and it goes there, okay? And it's just a brief moment and it goes under there. So it basically goes where the third club should be. So every time I'm catching, my number three and number four, they switch places. So I turn back and now the number third is now on the four, okay? And that's gonna go first. So if you see what I mean, normally the number four starts here, but when I catch it, I catch it under the tree and now the tree becomes four. That's gonna be the first one to throw. And the same with the left side. So I turn it a bit and I take it there because I can take it more securely there, all right? And again, like I said, if you want super detailed instructions and video and tutorial about how I do this and how I release everything and how I turn and point thing, whatever, <laughs> check out the Chuckling Mastery. There's very detailed description of how I use this and some other uh, techniques as well. And also there's exercises, how you can master this the script and like how you should always practice your grips and everything and exercise about that kind of stuff. So, chucklingmaster.com. But then the question, how I use five. Now, if I have five in one hand, how I would start that? I wouldn't. That's the short answer, like. <laughs> so if I would take five in one hand, I would continue the same way. I would turn, take it here, under there, just like the four, three and four, the five will go in the same way. I wouldn't start five on, from one hand. I just wouldn't, like I don't have, um, if I would do that, if I would start practicing for nine, uh, that I would wanna do it from the hands, I would buy smaller clubs. That's it, I would buy the thinnest clubs that I could find, like those renegade clubs that are like super thin, I would take those. And then I would do the same as with four. It would just go, like I can do it like that, but really fast triple, no way. So it would go there. My thumb like as over as can, there's a small space there. Boom, I would hold it there. But obviously with a smaller ring, smaller clubs, a little bit smaller handle and smaller this, you can get them closer. And with my tiny, tiny fingers, I will be able to do that, maybe. But at this point, I have no goal about training nine clubs, so I don't need that. I can catch five in one hand, that's enough for me. <laughs> but anyway, that's the creep that I use personally. I personally use that. Remember, I didn't say it's the best. I didn't say it's for everyone. It is what I use, this creep, okay? So many people ask me how I do that how I release four, how I start four, how I catch. So that was to answer that question. Cool, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about stuff like this, if you wanna see more detailed instructions and tutorials about this, check out the chucklingmastery.com. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.